So there was a time in, in one of my businesses, uh, it, uh, it didn't do so well, right? At, at a time in, in that business cycle. And we had to let some people go. And it was my task to like, let someone go. And, and she was pregnant. Oh. So really, yeah, it was hard. very, very difficult. And, but it was a, a kind of a learning experience. And I'm always sensitive to those things, yeah. you know? Like, but it, it is- You've got to make that line that it's not personal, it's just business. And hopefully that change is something that they, that helps them move on to do something that's a better fit. Yes, exactly. Right? And it's hope that they learn something while they were at least with us. Hi, welcome to Sharing with Susan B, telling stories from the heart. We're looking to inspire telling stories of struggle, vulnerability, and lessons learned. Hi, I'm Susan Blaine, and I'm here with today's guest, Stephen Lau. I'm so excited yes. because Hello. we're actually in his studio. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Well, reveal the secret here. <laughs> yeah, well, I might as well get it out there already. Uh, yeah. Salient Marketing Studio. So, really excited to have Stephen Lau. He's got a great story. He's president of Salient Marketing, which is a firm that creates lead generation for local businesses. That's right. But what I love about Stephen and his story is his backstory and sort of how you came to be doing what you're doing. And I always find that interesting with everybody because you thought you wanted to be a doctor and you studied biochemistry at University of Ottawa. And while you were doing your master's, your cousin introduces you to the internet. Yep. <laughs> and then you built your first website for yourself, just tinkering around. Then you build one for your car. Yeah, <laughs> actually the first one was for The Simpsons. The Sim <laughs> <laughs> and, then, and then you get, that gets recognized by Yahoo. And then you build your first website for a, a food and leisure magazine. Yeah. That was your first yeah. official sort of paying gig. And then you just tinker around. So you work for Macmillan, which is an agency here locally for on uh, for a couple of years uh, as part time, while you're working on your PhD yeah. in biochemistry. So you still think you want to be a doctor, and you founded your own company uh, called Engine Creative in 2000. It grew to 36 people, and then you sold it to Arlene Dickinson. That's right. Yeah, right? It was, uh, Arlene was uh, acquired the company and uh, had the uh, the fortunate ability to then work with her. We learned a lot. Yeah, learned for a, a couple lot. of years, you got to stay yeah. on and work with her. I mean, that, that's amazing. Uh, and then I guess at this time, you you must be sort of starting to shift from that idea of being a doctor to maybe there's something with this internet thing, right? Well, I mean, I come from an Asian family, so there's sometimes the expectation, expectation. to do, you know, lawyer, dentist, <laughs> pharmacist, yeah. you know, typical. Yeah, right. but you, you know, obviously had a knack. Hold a record for the largest transaction in one day here in Ottawa with sort of a Groupon type Yeah, it's like a, yeah, a Groupon, a daily deal. Yeah, yeah 240000 sure. in one day. That's right, yeah. Wow. It's like, I think you remember the commercial from back, way back in the day, there was this IBM commercial. These guys are all sitting around and then the bell would ring every time there was a sale. So they were like, ding. It's like, ah. Oh. And then somebody's like, ding. Ding, 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 ding. <laughs> I know, it's crazy, it's crazy, yeah. Uh, so you, you've done a lot of interesting things on your journey in building uh, your expertise in this field. And you've also recently gone on a humanitarian trip to India uh, where you help create awareness for SOPAR and H2H. So what are you really passionate about right now? What's got you really fired up these days? Well, uh, I think it's really, you know, I'm 47. So I'm trying to think about the future. Sure. I think with most local businesses, I mean, there's no pension. Right? <laughs> Not when you're an entrepreneur, no. That's right. That's right. So you have to kind of create your own, you know, your own legacy. Yes. And so for me, uh, I'm very interested in doing location independent businesses or, or models. Yeah. Right. It just allows you to leave because, you know, my wife works for the government. So what happens when she retires? Well, I kind of want to hang out with her. Yeah, yeah. And so it's, what about I doing be, something together? Yeah, it's possible. Yeah, it's possible, but it's got to be something where I can leave. So I might want to leave for six months. Yeah, be on a beach, but still be able to operate a business, but from a distance. Yeah, yeah. And you can do that with online businesses, right? You can. You can. Had amazing success in what you've done. Um, there's never a lack of struggle along the way. You know, yeah. I know you like to call them micro hurdles. Yeah, and I love yeah, that. That's right. But you know, what have been some of your, you know, your micro hurdles or your struggles in business? Um, I, I do remember a time like uh, really difficult um, when you have to deal with HR. Yeah. And so, oh, yeah. so there was a time in, in one of my businesses, uh, it uh, it didn't do so well, right? At, at a time in, in that business cycle, and we had to let some people go, and it was my task to like 
let someone go and, and she was pregnant. Oh. So really, yeah, it was very, hard. very difficult. And, but it was a, a kind of a learning experience. And I'm always sensitive to those things. Yeah. You know? like, but it, it is. You've got to make that line that it's not personal, it's just business. And hopefully that change is something that, they, that helps them move on to do something that's a better fit. Yes, exactly. Right? And it's hope that they learned something while they were at least with us, you know. And so, so HR has been very difficult because it's not something I really wanted to do. But um, it's something you have to do when you're in business for yourself and you're building a team, right? That's, that's right. a really good point. What about personally? What's been a big struggle? Personally, well, I, I went through a divorce. I went through a divorce early on, although I got, I got married when I was uh, 18 years old. Jeez. So it was, well, wow. was kind of... <laughs> was that expected as well? <laughs> uh, no, no. I actually uh, kind of eloped in high school, right? So, uh, and, uh, you know, it was shocking for my parents or whatever, right? Um, but uh, but that, th that struggled with that while, I guess, doing Building the business it. and whatnot, so... The time that can throw you up, throw you off, right? That's correct. Yeah. That's correct. Because yeah. it has an emotional impact, and that can, you know, cascade has a ripple effect on yes. your business as well. But you learn from everything, you know. Yeah. So even after that, you know, it's as long as you reflect on it. Yeah. I think that's what's important. Well, that's it. I mean, so tell us what you learned. Well, uh, I kind of I went on this small journey or whatever, so I started reading these books like. And I realized, you know, I have a part to play in this whole thing, too. Right well, good for you. And so, and to help me understand what is required in a relationship. And, uh, and through that journey, I'm now with someone, Kim, who's an amazing person. And, you were uh, able to apply some of those things you learned. Oh, yeah, yeah, work, yeah, yeah definitely, time. definitely. And I, I definitely urge anyone, anyone who makes a mistake, stumbles, whatever, you know, Take some time to reflect on yeah. it because you can learn from that experience. Big time, big time. Know, for sure. You know, and some of the things that we also talked about, um, you know, some of the lessons is keeping your energy up, enthusiasm. Yes. You know, something that you've learned through some of the struggles. First, you know, I feel that a lot of entrepreneurs, especially local businesses, they're, they're all alone. Like, who do I talk yeah, to? Man, I'm... On an island by themselves. That's right. Yeah. That's right. So, but there are, there are groups that you can join. Yeah. And there's even networking groups you go to. I mean... I take it for granted that every local entrepreneur is undergoing very similar issues. Feel free to talk to them. Like uh, I went to an actually networking meeting yesterday and it was amazing. It was amazing. And uh, it was a group of presidents, right? And uh, I did mention, it's like, wow, I felt like I'm running out of gas. But after being with you guys, <laughs> I thought it was amazing. You guys have some great ideas Got and some, some feedback. Fuel. And I see that I'm not alone as well. And yeah, I, so I important. That's why, I, that's why I encourage in, in this series to talk about struggle and to talk about lessons so that we can share and we can inspire other people because we're not alone. We actually have a lot of similar you know, journeys and struggles yes. and lessons that we're learning. What about advice that you would share with someone who's looking to be an entrepreneur? I, I find this is what I've run into in Ottawa. Okay. You know, we, have, uh, we have a lot of people that work for the government. Government can take sabbaticals. You know, mm -hmm. and I think a lot of people take sabbaticals sometimes to run a business, but I find that, you know, that's like a safety net. Yeah. And uh, my advice is throw away that safety net if you're going to do it, because I find you're not all in. You're not all. No, you're not all not, in. And if you're not yeah. all in, it ain't going to happen. That's right. If your right? if your rent is due, and you need five hundred bucks, just five hundred bucks. What are you going to do for that 500 bucks to make it work? What's next? I know you're creating a video series. Can you share a little bit about that? So I wanted to create this video series so that local entrepreneurs could understand what it takes or what they need to do in order to succeed. Perfect. Right. And then yeah. that's it. And then we're giving this information away. Awesome. Right. And so yeah. there's going to, I'm going to be releasing a video every single day on a small topic. That's right? great. And then we're also... Uh, creating another series on top of just a short one. Uh, there's a Google guide on search engine optimization on how to get traffic from Google. Yes. And important. we're distilling that specifically for local businesses. Oh, that's great. Yeah. How about some rapid fire questions to learn a little bit more? Get to know Stephen Lau a little All bit right, more. Okay. All right. All right. You ready? Um, Are you ready? Who's your favorite superhero? Wolverine. Food, favorite food indulgence? Bubble tea. Bubble tea. <laughs> Bubble tea. Oh. <laughs> I don't know, in case you don't know what that is, it's just tea with a little, little, little bit of flavor and these tapioca balls at the bottom. That, that's it. That's Yum. It. Yeah. Someone that you admire? My parents. Hmm. My parents. I, I admire my, my parents because, you know, it's not like they were born in a rich family or anything like that. 
Uh, I mean, they were born into a family that was on the farm. Mm. So, and what happened was, was their family sacrificed so that they didn't have to work on a farm. And so get, they got this education and then they were able to get a scholarship to come to Canada wow. for an education. So uh, I admire generation that. levels up, right? When That's you sacrifice, right. That's right. So there's that. a sacrifice. Yeah. Uh, what about uh, something that not too many people know about you? Well, uh, geez, I'm not sure. I, well, I mean, I, I was born with a hole in the heart. Were you really? Yes. Yeah. Was that part of your interest in med medicine? It was. It was a little bit because yeah. I, when I was 10, I, I got that. I got that corrected. Okay. And, uh, and so, yeah, that would be something. Yeah. yeah. Well, favorite movie, book, or quote? Oh, geez. I watch a lot of movies. Yeah? That's uh, one of your favorites. I don't know why, but I like uh, Catch Me If You Can. Oh, that's a great movie. <laughs> yeah. right, so. What's something that always makes you smile, Stephen? Uh, when people surprise me. Hmm. Yeah, so, you know, I like to see that, uh, you know, goodness come out. Yeah. You know, and uh, that sparkle. So if everyone could do what they want to do, I think we'd be in a better place. Be a better world. Yeah. What's your definition of success in one sentence? Uh, determination. Mm, one word, that's even better. Mm, yeah. Awesome. Salientmarketing.com is where you can find more information about Stephen and also LinkedIn. Yeah, just that's go to my LinkedIn profile. Yeah, and then you know, stay tuned for that video series because we'll learn a lot and I'm really grateful in advance for you putting that out there oh. and helping a lot of people. But thanks for joining All right, us very today. Good. Thank you, Stephen. Awesome. Wow, that was amazing. I was so inspired by our guests today. I hope you were too. We've got some really cool things coming up. If you have any comments or questions, please contact me. My information's below and we'll see you next time. Jesse, this has been awesome. Thank, Thank you so you. much. We could talk all day. I know, I know we we'll have some we'll more coffee, coffee after. chats. Um, if you want to find out more about Jesse Perot, he has got a very robust um, profile and content that he puts out on LinkedIn. That's your main platform. Yep, and he puts out some great stuff. So check him out there on LinkedIn. Thank you so much. Thank you. It's been great. Woo!